2005, futurist Ray Kurzweil wrote his highly influential book, The Singularity is Near, When Humans Transcend Biology. Kurzweil, one of the most renowned thinkers of our time, predicted that by 2045, machine intelligence would surpass human intelligence. A singularity, borrowed from physics, refers to an event horizon where a system becomes unpredictable, uncontrollable, a kind of irreversible moment when things shift in unimaginable ways. For Kurzweil, this moment when machines outpace humans will mark a dramatic rupture in human history, leading to a profound transformation of civilization itself. Kurzweil's vision hinges on the rapid growth of AI, biotechnology and nanotechnology, which he believes will blur the lines between human and machines. This merging, he argues, could enhance human capabilities in ways previously thought impossible. Yet, not everyone shares his enthusiasm about merging with machines, or living forever as a data stream in some digital afterlife. Then, in November 2022, OpenAI released ChatGPT 3.5, the start of what I call the AI explosion. By 2023, GPT-4 was available, and by 2025, we got DeepThink R1. These AI systems have become a daily part of our lives, with new apps and platforms launching almost weekly. But the big question remains, is this what Kurzweil meant by his singularity? The AI developments of today certainly resemble much of what Kurzweil predicted. But when Kurzweil and his peers say that machines are becoming smarter than us, we need to ask, what does smart even mean? Let's take a deeper look at Kurzweil's conception of intelligence. For Kurzweil, AI intelligence isn't just about crunching data. It involves several complex cognitive processes. One, natural language understanding. The ability to grasp context, nuance, and emotional depth in speech and text. Two, logical and mathematical reasoning, solving complex problems and drawing conclusions from minimal information. Three, common sense reasoning, the understanding of implicit knowledge, the stuff humans just know without needing to be taught. Four, creativity, the capacity to produce original content, ideas, and solutions, not just mean patterns. Five, Emotional and social intelligence, recognizing and responding to human emotions and social cues appropriately. And number six, autonomous learning. AI should not only process pre-programmed data, but also learn autonomously from its environment. Now, Kurzweil argues that AI needs to demonstrate these faculties in an integrated, cohesive manner, not just as separate skills or tricks. This brings us to the concept of Artificial General Intelligence, or AGI. AGI, he claims, can solve a wide variety of problems, just like a human. For example, Toku Fast Bot, a robot developed by Mitsubishi, can solve a Rubik's Cube in less than a third of a second, a feat beyond any human competitor. But here's the catch. While Toku Fast Bot can solve that puzzle in record time, it can't even add one plus one. But here's where the big problem lies. Machines, no matter how fast or skilled, are not conscious. They don't feel. They don't experience the world. A machine can ace a test, but it doesn't know what it's like to fail, to grow, and to learn from mistakes. But this is where Kurzweil's vision begins to stumble. He believes AI could become conscious, just like humans. He imagines a future where human minds can be uploaded into machines, enabling us to live forever free from the constraints of biology. Now, Kurzweil believes that consciousness is just an emergent property of complex computation. That once we understand how the brain works, we can recreate it. But is this really true? Can we truly reduce consciousness to a set of computational processes? While Kurzweil's materialist view is popular, many scientists and philosophers aren't so sure. What if consciousness isn't in the brain? What if it extends beyond the brain, reaching out into the very fabric of reality. Enter quantum physics and the concept of non-locality, the idea that particles, once connected, remain linked regardless of the distance between them. This challenges the conventional understanding of space and time, suggesting that information could be shared instantaneously across vast distances. While non-locality may seem disconnected from the mind, there's a fascinating possibility. 
What if non-locality is not just a quantum phenomenon, but a fundamental aspect of consciousness itself? This is the argument I make in The Other Singularity, that consciousness, like the particles in quantum physics, is non-local, spread across time and space. It's not just confined to our brains. And when we embrace this understanding, we step into a new age of human potential. This will change everything. Our understanding of intelligence, of learning, of life itself. Kurzweil's singularity is fascinating, but it's incomplete. It doesn't account for the non-local nature of consciousness. It overlooks the possibility that intelligence and consciousness are not just about computation, they're about connection. The other singularity, therefore, is the moment when we acknowledge the true nature of consciousness and how it connects with the universe. It's the point where science and spirituality finally converge. And that moment, I believe, is closer than we think. Hello, Marcus T. Anthony here. If you're interested in the kinds of ideas you've encountered here, you'll love my new online Power and Presence course. The course purpose is to enable you to establish your unique, authentic self, what I call your deep self, and to live a life that truly reflects your highest potential, not what somebody else has told you what you should be. Each session has a specially designed meditation to help you embody your deep self. In the Power and Presence online course, you'll learn how to stand in the power of your deep self, how to develop embodied presence, making it impossible for others to distract you from your desired future, how to intuitively set your most important life goals and develop the wise actions to achieve them, how to develop digital wisdom, the unshakable capacity to know yourself deeply and master our minds in the age of AI. Power and Presence course is available right now. Links are in the description. See you there.